Because of the complexity of week five's assignments, I'm going to walk you through how to complete those. Um, 5A isn't too challenging. 5B will be a little bit more challenging. So um, for forum 5A, what you're going to be doing um, is you're going to be doing an organizational profile using this free OCAI questionnaire. And you're going to go through this um, for your organization and um, you'll click on the OCI one. Now there's two parts of this and I'll, I explain this in the forum description, but there's the current situation your organization's in. And these questions are going to relate to that. And then there's going to be the preferred. So where, basically this is where you are and this is where you want to be. Um, so once you're done with that, then you're going to get a report that will look a little bit similar to this and you'll have you know something um, along these lines now um, you can just upload your report to the forum but later for your final project you're going to need to cut and paste this diagram here it's, there's a there's going to be a summary diagram and um, you know if you want you could paste including the numbers or you could just do it with a, the the diagram for me the diagram is fine and the way you're going to do that here is you can go take a snapshot um, in the the PDF and then you can cut and paste this. So that's now in your clipboard. So if you wanted to put that into your final project document, you could just paste um, to do that. So um, you don't have to do that this week, but you're going to need to keep this file. So this file, whenever you run it, be sure you keep this file because you're going to want to paste that into the appendix of your final project. You could paste it in the appendix of your final project now. Um, if you'd like, that may save you trouble later. So that is Forum 5A, and you're going to go through and um, and then you're, you're essentially going to dialogue on this. I'm not going to go into all the detail. I think it's fairly um, clear cut. So, so what it's going to do is going to say where your organization is, where you need to grow, and I want you to reflect on that, where you want to grow, and then, um, you know, what this survey is going to do this is about your organization overall it's not just looking at your cross-cultural strategy so this would be this is actually used in our strategic plan course and um, other courses this is probably the most useful tool that we use in our um, business programs and, and nonprofit management programs which is why we use it in multiple courses but part of what you're going to do in this course is you're going to think about what are the implications for cross-cultural management and um, both on where you are and where you're going and how that, that might affect your cross-cultural strategy. So that's Forum 5A. Forum 5B is going to be a lot more complicated. Um, so here, the first one is about an organizational assessment. The second one is going to be, um, it's, it's going to be a personal assessment. And there's going to be several spreadsheets you can use for those. So they're templates for the assignment. So you can click on those templates. Um, and really you only need to use one and three unless you're going to have other people help you. Now, one thing just to remind you, if you're downloading something and um, if you're downloading something, you always want to go download to the Excel document here. And then, um, you know, you can click on that to, to open that. Um, but the first document, what you're going to do is you're going to go through and for yourself, you would say, I would describe myself as being skilled in the following, um, making it legitimate contribute opinions. And you're going to put an X on, on these. So, um, and then once you have this filled out, um, then, then you can, uh, go through and uh, and then copy your values. So I'm just going to show you this. I'm just going to put an X, 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 X. And then I'm going to copy this. Um, obviously, you wouldn't just make something up like I'm doing, but, um, but I'm going to try to make it so you can see how this would work. So what this is doing is it's populating these values um, Hopefully this will work. No, I got to do it for each line. Um, and then what you would do is you would cut and paste this section over here um, into the spreadsheet three. Um, so 
I'm going to go to the spreadsheet three and here. Um, if you go into um, the spreadsheet three, you can populate the data and let me actually reopen this um, where I have it populated. And you're going to go to the WPP self. Now, the second document, the WPB raters, would be if you're in an organization, you want other people to rate your skills in these areas, um, then you could have them, you could send this document to them, and then they could um, fill this out for you. Um, so that part's optional. Um, but once you're done, you're going to copy it and then paste your values into this section. And if you had the raters, you could paste their values and you could have up to, I think, what is it, 12 um, raters here. And um, then what you're going to get is you're going to get a profile. Now, this profile is going to relate to um, the organizational profile in that it's going to, the organizational profile is going to show where your organization is and where it needs to be. And this is going to look at your own strengths and you're going to want to compare the two. So that's a part of what um, this analysis is going to be about. So read the instructions. There's a lot more detail on the instructions, but I wanted to kind of explain this. Um, so you can read the instructions here. Um, you can read, um, you know, some of the, the detail here and click on the various tabs and you'll get a better idea of um, how all this um, relates to the competing values framework. So um, with that, um, be sure you read the details in, in the discussion. Um, one of the key points of this is to look at um, for the 5B is to look at, you know, what your strengths are, how does your personal profile compare to the organizational profile, and then what are the quadrants you might need to grow in um, to help your organization lead. Now, you're not going to solve your organization's problem by yourself, but um, if you're like me, what you're going to find is your ability to lead around operations um, is going to be dependent on your operations capability. So you might need to grow in that area, um, even if you're just supervising other people.